Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.44 from Sadiku book. So the question is use mass analysis to obtain I0 in the circuit of figure 3.90. Okay, we are asked to use mass analysis. So let's draw our loops here. So let's name this loop here as I1. And then this loop here as I2. And this loop here as I3. Okay, but we have some problem. We, which is this one here. 45 ampere current source. Because we cannot calculate the voltage across this branch here. So we need some work around. Which is to do super loop here. Across all the loop. So we will have this one here as our super loop. Okay, now let's do KVL at the super loop. KVL at super loop. What does KVL say? KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, so we will have 2 ohm here, and the only current that passes through it is I1. So we'll have 2 I1, and then we will have plus another current source no that is not current source this is a voltage source and the current is flowing from the positive node to the negative so the sign will be positive and the magnitude is 90 so we'll have 90 here then we move on to this 180 volt voltage source so we'll have plus 180 Again, the sign is positive because the current is flowing from positive to negative. And the last component in the super loop is this 5 ohm. So we will have 5. And the only current that pass through this is I2. So we'll have I2 here. All of that will equal to 0. And so we can just simplify it into 2I1 plus 5I2. And that will equal to... This is 270, so we'll have minus 270. Okay, let's have this to equation number 1. Good. Now, the loops that we can work on is only this I1 here. Because if we work on I2, we have this current source. And if we work on I3, we also have this current source. So, we work on loop i1 so let's do that kvl at loop i1 okay kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero and let's do this so we will have two and the only current that pass through it is i1 good and then plus this is a voltage source so we'll have 90 so we'll have 90 here and let's move to this 4 ohm resistor. And currently we are working on I1. So this is multiplied by I1. But in this case, I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. I1 is going down. I3 is going up. So we will have I1 minus I3. Good. And then we will have 1 ohm here. So what is that? the current so we multiply it by i1 here and then here i2 is flowing to the opposite direction so i subtract i2 from i1 all of that will equal to zero and so we will have two plus four plus one that will be seven okay seven i1 and then I2 only came from here. So we'll have minus I2. And I3 only came from here. And we have four of them. So minus 4 I3. And then all of that will equal to. Let's move this 90 to the right hand side. So we'll have minus 90. Okay. Let's save this as equation number 2. Good. Okay, I think we have done all the loops uh, that we can do. Let's do another method from this node here. Let's do KCL at node A. 
Okay, KCL app, not A. Okay, let's assume the direction of the current. For this, I just follow that I0. So it will go to the right, right? And for this, I just follow the arrow of the current source. And for this one, I just assume it's going up. Okay, this one here, I0 is going to the right and the one that is going to the right is i2 so we'll have i2 here but here i1 is flowing to the opposite direction so there so i2 minus i1 that is this current here and then the current that goes up here is that 45 okay and then the last current here is going out from node A so let's put the equal sign first and the one that is going up is I3 and the one that is going down is I1 so I3 minus I1 good now let's see here we have I1 will cancel each other and so we can simplify this into I2 minus I3 and let's move that 45 to the right hand side so we'll have minus 45 okay let's have this as equation number three and now we have three equation with three variables we can solve this using calculator right so let's do exactly that let's set up our calculator as equation solver so this button and number five and three variables is number two and we have this one, so we'll have 2, 5, and then i3 is 0. We have to be very careful that we have 3 variables. And then we will have minus 270. Good, and then for the second equation, we will have 7. And then minus i2, so we'll have minus 1. And then minus 4 and then minus 90 good and finally this one will be 0 i1 right so we'll have 0 then i2 is 1 then minus 1 and then minus 45 good so we will have i1 is minus 20 I1 is min minus 20 and the unit here will be in ampere and then what is I2 I2 is minus 46 minus 46 ampere and then what is I3 I3 is minus 1 yeah minus 1 ampere but then the question is asking us about I0 right what is i0 i0 is going to the right so it is the same direction as i2 so i2 will have the positive sign and then i1 is going to the opposite direction so we'll have minus i1 good and what is i2 i2 is minus 46 and then minus minus 1 that will be minus 20 Okay, so we will have minus 46 plus 20. And that means that I0 is equal to minus 26. And the unit will be in ampere. And I think that is all for this problem. Let's highlight this and put. we have put that into a book. So they know that this is our conclusion. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.